There are many students graduate from school and move on to do other things, live other places, but one student from New Hope Academy in West Baltimore decided to return and give back. Richard Stokes serves as a mentor to help inner city youth reach their academic goals. ABC 2 News education reporter Cherie Johnson shows us how he's making a difference. Richard Stokes is not your average teaching assistant. He's also a mentor at New Hope Academy in West Baltimore. Stokes is a 2011 graduate of New Hope Academy. He faced academic and behavioral issues, but changed things around with guidance. Now he's back to help other students. I stay in Ms. Jordan class, help out all the students around. They need help with the work. They get frustrated a lot. I mean, I take them for walks, I ask them what's wrong, I talk to them out in the hallway because I can really relate to most of these students. New Hope Academy started in 2008 as a partnership between Specialized Education Services Incorporated and Baltimore City Public Schools. The middle and high school serve students with emotional disabilities. Many of these inner city students face tough issues at home. Richard helps them focus on academics. I can see what they go through. I see how they feel when they come to school. Kevin Johnson was struggling in class, but talking to Richard has put him on a better path. It's really rough. Um, I have aggression problems and quick to fly off the handle. And I can't really respect authorities. But now that he's here, it's a lot easier for me to respect authorities. Administrators say Richard is a wonderful role model and good influence. We see that the students here, they're not too far apart in age from Richard, um, so they have a lot of respect for what he says. Thanks to a graduate that returned to help his school, students can have a better chance at academic success. Cherie Johnson, ABC2 News. And New Hope Academy serves approximately 200 students. Kelly? Thanks a lot, Jamie. You know, we are all looking for ways to save money on that electric bill, but coming up all new at 6 o'clock, if someone shows up at your door offering a free home energy audit, don't fall for it. What you need to know so you don't get scammed. And we rely on our mom and dad for parenting advice, but grandparents are not necessarily keeping up with the times. We're going to tell you about a surprising new study. Those stories and a whole lot more coming up for you tonight on ABC2 News at 6 in just minutes.